reports that a Palestinian American teenager was killed today on the West Bank. Can you confirm that? And was that something that President Biden discussed with Netanyahu during the call? We're seriously concerned about these reports. Uh, the information is scanned at this time. We, we don't have perfect uh, context about exactly what happened here. We're seriously concerned about it. Um, and we're going to be uh, in constant touch uh, with counterparts in the region to, to, to get more information. But it's, it's definitely deeply uh, concerning. But I'm afraid, I'm afraid I don't have more information than that right now. We still oppose a general ceasefire. Yes. For the same reason that we have in the past. We don't believe a ceasefire um, is going to be to the benefit of anybody uh, but Hamas. Uh, we do support humanitarian pauses, as I said, to try to get hostages out and more aid in, uh, but we don't support a, a ceasefire at this time. I think it's important to remember that there was a ceasefire in place on the 6th of October, and Hamas, Mr. Sinwar, Mr. Sinwar chose to break that ceasefire. He's the one that chose, uh, chose this war. There was a ceasefire, which we obviously were in support of, and Hamas chose to break it.